Joining us now, former National Security Council Chief of Staff, he's Fred Flights. Fred, it's good to see you again. What do you make of Senator? Hey, it's good to be here. It's good to see you. Sen what do you make of Senator Marsha Blackburn sending a letter to President Biden demanding he fire National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan, saying he is behind foreign policy mistakes in Iran, the Mideast, Afghanistan, and more? What do you make of this? Liz, for some time, I've called on President Biden to get rid of uh, Blinken and Sullivan and Austin. I think his national security team are not even second tier. And we really need some better experienced people with gravitas. I would bring in Leon Panetta, maybe Jane Harmon. The president desperately needs more experienced uh, national security officials who could give him good advice and maybe stand up to things that the president may say uh, that is it basically would be bad policies. Yeah, he basically, the NSA Sullivan's on, t on tape on camera saying he's never seen the Mideast basically as quiet as he's ever seen it. And that, you know, it's meaning he could sit back in his job because it was so quiet. I mean, there's that. Also, there's a White House. You know, the White House seems to be confusing everyone over its $6 billion in funds for Iran and that hostage swap. A hostage swap. Is it, you know, the question is, is it holding on to the money to get Americans out? Of course, they, we don't know. But again, I want your reaction. The White House, again, appears to blame former President Trump. Watch this. Money in question, Iranian money, not American taxpayer dollars, is money that was allowed to accrue in a bank account from the sale of Iranian oil. And that mechanism, allowing Iran to accrue the money, to get the money and have it in an account, was established by the Trump administration. Now, the account that it was established in, in South Korea, for technical reasons, uh, Iran was having trouble actually using the funds, which it's always been allowed to use for humanitarian purposes. This money was first allowed to accrue into these accounts under the Trump administration. Okay, two things. Blinken says it was always allowed to use the money. I mean, what's going on there? And, you know, the misleading topspin about it accruing under Trump, that's a falsehood. This was set up under the Obama White House. Former President Obama in 2012 signed a bill into law setting this up. The Trump White House was following the law. And what they did was in a way to minimize Iran's revenue. What do you think of, of all this, Fred? That's exactly right. There's been a lot of falsehoods take, take, uh, said about this. The $6 billion was Iranian money being held in, in, a, in a South Korean bank. The U.S. arranged for it to be sent back to Iran to free American prisoners. When a state does that, they're paying ransom. They paid, we paid ransom to release American prisoners. Now, the administration made a big deal saying, well, that money hasn't been released yet. None of it has gone to Hamas. Liz, that is a distraction because the Biden administration doesn't want to discuss the fact that Iranian revenues and Hamas revenues have surged under the administration. The administration hasn't been uh, honoring oil sanctions against Iran. Oil revenues from Iran have, have surged from 6.6 .6 billion to 30 billion in just two years. Hamas has re been receiving hundreds of millions of dollars from the United States through the Palestinian Authority. This is funding that the Trump administration shut off. Everything we hear about the $6 billion, it's noise because the administration does want to talk about these other funds. Got it. Fred Flights, you're terrific. We'll have you on again soon, okay?